Have you ever stopped to think about where hell is located? Every day we are bombarded with news about wars and conflicts, people having their lives destroyed by the wickedness of humanity. And because of that, we might think that hell is right here on this earth. But despite all the bad things happening in this world, Jesus said that hell is a much worse place. According to Matthew chapter 25, hell is the place of torment created to punish Satan and his demons. But the person who dies without believing in Jesus as their savior also goes to hell. See what Christ himself said. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever rejects the Son will not see life, for God's wrath remains on them. The Bible shows that when we sin, we become separated from God, which results in both physical and spiritual death. Since God is holy and just, nothing imperfect can enter his presence. That is why hell is the place where sins are punished. You may think, I don't think such a good God would send people to hell. In reality, God is so wonderful and full of love that he does not desire anyone to go to that place of torment. That is why he sent his own son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins and give us the opportunity for salvation. This is the greatest example of love that the world has ever known. As for the location of hell, many people believe it is somewhere on our planet, beneath the earth. But can we assert that? If you are ready to discover the truth about the location of hell, I invite you to keep watching until the end of this video, okay? Before we continue, I would like you to subscribe to my channel. Just click the red button below the video and activate the bell to receive all notifications of new videos. It is very important so that you do not miss any content. So let's get started. Some scholars claim that hell is located in the Earth's core, deep below us. They base this on scientific knowledge that the center of the Earth is a place of great heat, with blazing flames and high temperatures, which makes us imagine hell as a place surrounded by flames and fire. Others believe that hell is in space, in a large black hole present in the universe. This is because a black hole is a place of intense heat and possesses such an intense gravitational field that it can swallow entire planets. It is imagined to be a place of great anguish and destruction. However, based solely on this scientific information, we cannot assert with certainty the exact location of hell. Therefore, let's analyze some biblical passages to seek understanding regarding the location of this place of torment for which we were not made to be. There are places around the world where people claim the existence of secret passages that lead directly to the supposed hell located in the center of the earth. For example, in the village of Darvaza, in Turkmenistan, a country located in Central Asia, there is a crater nearly 70 meters wide from which flames and boiling mud are constantly expelled. This crater also emits a strong smell of sulfur, which can be felt kilometers away. The locals refer to this crater as the door to hell due to its characteristics that resemble the description in the book of Revelation chapter 20. Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. The lake of fire is the second death. Is the Darvaza crater a representation of the hell described in Revelation? Based on passages like Ephesians 4, 9, where it says that Jesus before ascending to heaven also descended to the depths of the earth Many Christians and scholars interpret this passage as proof that Jesus descended into hell before the resurrection, as if there were a geographic idea that heaven is above and hell is below. Other verses also support this claim, such as Luke 10.15, where Jesus says, And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. We must always consider that we are talking about a spiritual realm that we cannot see or touch, but which is indeed an existing place. In this passage from Luke 10, it refers more to condemnation than to a geographical location. Therefore, I repeat that we are talking about a spiritual realm. We have seen and followed in the news reports of wars and attacks that have caused destruction and death to many people around the world, places that are becoming uninhabitable due to the extent of the destruction. Whole families are leaving their cities to escape terror. These are sad news that come to us constantly and often make us question the presence of God in these places. But let's see what the psalmist David said in Psalm 9. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. 
These places of war and conflict resemble what the psalmist David described in this passage. Nations turn into ruins, leaving traces of destruction and becoming dust. Could these places be small shelters of hell? Many Christians believe that hell is the place where Satan and his demons dwell and command all evil in the world, as if it were a major operation center of the enemy to unleash destruction and chaos upon humanity. However, the Bible is very clear in stating that Satan is not confined to a specific location, but rather roams the earth, seeking whom he may devour. In the books of Job, chapters 1 and 2, Satan converses with God about his whereabouts. Let's see what is written in Job, chapter 1, verse 7. The Lord said to Satan, Where have you come from? Satan answered the Lord, From roaming throughout the earth, going back and forth on it. In this passage, it becomes very clear that Satan is not confined to a specific location, but rather that he is present on the earth, roaming, observing, and planning his next targets. However, there is no need to be afraid, as this does not mean that the location of hell is here on earth. Here we have the presence of God to help us, to give us second chances, even in the midst of afflictions. On the other hand, hell is the place where there are no exits or doors of escape. Let's see what is written in 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His might. It is difficult to imagine a scenario where there is a separation from the presence of God as we know that such a place will be one of great despair. As Christian writer Max Lucado said, God is not there. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, we should not worry about knowing where hell is located. It can manifest anywhere in our universe, and the Bible does not provide us with a specific geographical location. Instead, we should surrender our lives to Jesus to avoid eternal punishment. Amen. Let's see what is written in Revelation, chapter 21. The cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the murderers, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters and all liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. So brothers and sisters, hell is a real place, but we can avoid it while we are here. The Bible tells us that God is love and he sent Jesus to deliver us from condemnation. However, the Lord does not force us to be with him. He loves us and has given us the freedom to choose to love Him or reject Him. If we choose not to be with Him, we will face the consequences of that choice. Therefore, I give you the most important advice. Receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior. By inviting Him into your life and repenting of your sins, you can have the absolute assurance that you will be with Him forever. Amen. If you liked this message, I ask that you share it with your friends and family. Let's spread God's message. I'll see you in the next video. May God bless you.